his hands down. Look at him. Clowning right now. Oh. It wasn't just then. It's right there. It's even in the beginning exchanges in the beginning of the first round. Leading up to the main event of Glory 78 in September 2021, Bader Hari couldn't resist showing off his pushing skills during the stare down with Arik Rosick. Oh. Hari, often considered one of the best kickboxers ever, had his typical explosive start in the fight. The Moroccan fighter delivered powerful body shots to Rosick, causing him to go down three times in the first round. But Rosick had a surprise in store, delivering a perfect left high kick that left Hari out cold. At Combat Global 53 in Miami, Florida, Jamaican fighter Matthew Colcon faced a video Bohorquez. However, excitement got the better of him in the first round as he engaged in constant showboating. Oh, nice. After, among many others. The turning point occurred early in the round when Colquan, in a moment of overconfidence, stuck out his tongue at Bohorquez. Even in the beginning exchanges in the beginning of the first round. <laughs> In response, Bohorquez swiftly countered with a flying knee that brought down the Jamaican fighter. In February 2021 at Knucklemania, Brandon Lambert faced Jared Grant. However, Lambert started mocking and taunting his opponent. Punches to the crew and put his hands down. Look at him. Clowning right now, Lambert. Going to the set. Oh, God damn it. See the trash talking. This, Chris, is where Jared Grant said I can just yell and screaming right there. He's wasting energy. And you get with the left hand. Right hand, left hand misses. The finger whack note from Brandon Lambert. Another flick jab, the bell, the end of round number one. I mean, this looks like a lot of theatrics right now. This move would later backfire as he was knocked out in the third round by a powerful right hand. Grant, huge right hand, and down goes Brandon Lambert. That all came from that uppercut to the body. Grant hit him with a real good one. Sometimes it's a delayed reaction, and I don't think he's getting up. He's going to say it was the back of the head. That was a shot to the body that hurt him. That is it. The win. Now 3-0 goes Jared Grant. And I know he's looking holding his head right now, but if you watch the replay, I think it was... Alexander Shlomenko was sent to face Melvin Manhoff in the main event of Bellator 133. During the weigh-in, Manhoff tried to intimidate his opponent with different gestures. On the night of the fight, after enduring domination in the first round, Manhoff was knocked out cold by Shlomenko's trademark spitting backfist in the second. Я поздравляю всех поклонников Александра Шлеменко, всех любителей смешных небос в России с яркой и убедительной победой Александра в этом очень важном для него и важном для всех нас э, бою. Именно стойки, именно нокаутом победил Александр Шлеменко. Значит... Johnson defended his title against Mukmat Vakayev on November 18, 2021 at ACA 132. However, during the pre-fight buildup, Vakayev stirred things up with his antics, going as far as slapping the champion during the weigh-ins. Bring sorry to my brother and to me, and to when will we be in the cage? You will be smashed. It's not gonna happen. Or they got you gonna try to smash me because that ain't fucking happening. I'm here. 
<laughs> Karma, however, swiftly caught up with Vakayev. With less than a minute remaining in the first round, Johnson connected with a pinpoint right hand that sent Vakayev crashing to the canvas. Johnson then sealed the deal with a relentless barrage of powerful ground and pound strikes. Jeff Lacey, the unbeaten American, held the IBF championship at 168 pounds when he traveled to face Calzaghe in Manchester, England on March 4, 2006. Many dismissed Calzaghe's chances against Lacey, who boasted 21 consecutive victories and earned the nickname Left Hook due to his formidable knockout reputation. Facts that fueled Lacey's overconfidence and got to his head as he was boastful and overly confident before the fight. Don't get my cockiness confused with my confidence. I'm I'm very confident fighter. I prepare to be confident the way I am. And don't get it mixed up. I'm gonna knock him out. Simple as that. Simple as that. I didn't come over here for no decision. I came over here to knock him out. Of course, this is this is the stardom for me. This is where it all begins. You've called him a slapper. Mm -hmm. And you've said he's tried to dodge you. Yeah. Well, what are you saying? I mean, it, it's, it's, if you look at his fights, you wouldn't call him a slapper. I mean, it, it's, it's something that everybody knows. You know, as, as a fighter, I see it, and he should see it too. I didn't say every one of his shots are slapping. I say he slaps. Are you saying I he can't hurt you? I didn't say that, but you know what? If he do hurt me, I have the will to come back. Fights. Oh, it's Roy Jones against James Tony. Calzaghe, I know. Is However, Calzaghe took Lacey to school and dismantled the left hook through 12 rounds to such an extent that Lacey was never the same again. But it's a 12 round fight. Still in there. Blood now seeping from his lower lips. Oh, headshots. Those are the outstanding. God, oh, how on earth is Lacey staying up there? How is he staying up? Now, wonder how much more of this race he can take under the fight so far. Yeah, I just landed one or two cleaner shots. He's getting outworked, but he's getting worked over and he doesn't like it. Balzaghi, I think, is starting to tee himself up for the big Got attack. Him. I think Got he him. might be looking to take him out here. Two big left hands and Lacey is on the receiving end of a barrage of punches. Balzaghi wants to get him out of there. His legs have gone, John. He's off. The damage to both eyes and blood leaking from Lacey's nose spoke volumes about the one-sided nature of the bout. In the WPC Muay Thai super heavyweight title bout between Zabit Samedov and Kataline Morosanu, it was evident from the stare down that Morosanu harbored dislike for his opponent. His emotions got the better of him as he swung for the fences, desperately searching for a knockout punch against the calm and composed Samedov. This proved to be Morosano's downfall as he was caught by a right knee from Semedov, ultimately concluding the fight. <laughs> Muay Thai fighter Yi Long was known for his unique tradition of dropping his guard during fights and challenging opponents to give their best shots, a bold strategy that earned the self-proclaimed Shaolin Monk an impressive record of 30-3. However, during his 2012 bout with Josh Pickle, he decided to roll the dice once again with his signature move. <laughs> Unfortunately, this time around, he experienced an unfortunate turn of events.
Which of these fights is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. See you in the next one.